ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know something just so that you guys understand. I put arsenic and lead in baby formula. U.S. funded or founded European styled Bobby organic baby formula by parents for parents. They said organic baby food. Yeah, really. So then why are these foods and formulas testing positive for arsenic, lead, and BPA? Baby, the most vulnerable creatures on our planet, because you definitely can't leave a baby to fend for itself right after it comes out of the womb. But you can do that with so many animals, but you can't do that with a baby. Arsenic and lead? Do you know how many years these idiots said that lead was not the cause of autism? And refused to do studies on it? Because they knew. Ladies and gentlemen, this was five years ago. Five years ago. Hold on, let's see what they talked about. The BetterHelp platform brings counseling to people. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't have it on this particular channel. Parents with infants and toddlers, or if you have friends with kids in this age group, make sure you pass along this information. Many baby food products have tested positive for some very dangerous chemicals. This is according to a new study from the Clean Label Project. It's a nonprofit group that advocates for transparency. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, if you listen to this story, because I listened to it this morning, you'll see that they are making excuses for these idiots doing this to baby formula and baby food. How come there was no lawsuit? How come? They didn't put arsenic and lead on the labels? Not a single lawsuit that I hear about, ladies and gentlemen. Not a single one. I didn't even know about this at all. Just like I didn't know about the microplastics. Ladies and gentlemen, once I found out about the microplastics, I stopped using plastic utensils for eating, for cooking. Stopped immediately. Had brand new stuff, had never used. Just sitting there waiting to be used. Gave it away. Told, told the neighbor, I said, hey, 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 this stuff, uh -uh, you don't want to use this stuff. The neighbor said, don't worry, about it. I ain't worried about no plastic. I said, all right, you show? He said, I ain't worried about no plastic. I, man, I eat plastic for dinner. I eat plastic for breakfast, and I eat plastic for a snack. I said, well, you go ahead and you snack on you some plastic. Here, this is enough for you. And gave them the plastic. Microplastics. We eat it in all of our food. Why? Do you know what that's doing to us? But now they're giving arsenic. How many of you have relatives and friends who are autistic? Who have developmental disorders? who have learning disabilities, who have a mental acuity that is not equal to their peers. Really? So now you may have a reason for that. I can't tell you that this is a reason for that, but what I can tell you, pay attention, what I can tell you is it's a joke. Oh, by the way, I can tell you this as well. This is a Bobby CEO, Laura, or whatever, Laura, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you they charge more than anybody else. They call it organic, but I guarantee you they charge more than anyone else. Study finds toxic metals in baby foods. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, this is hilarious. This was three years ago. What happened? They didn't change it from five years ago. Five years ago, they knew about it. Five years ago, they knew about it. Three years later, they still ain't changed it. Two years after that, well, down four years later, they ain't changed it. Five years later, they still ain't changed it. Heavy metals, people, and baby food. Why? Can somebody explain that? Because they can't explain it. Ladies and gentlemen, something ain't right. There should be more uprage. There should be more news. There should be more talking about this. There should be congressional hearings. But I don't hear none of that stuff. I'm just now finding out about this recently. I tripped over this information. People, this was not being talked about. I tripped over the information about them putting this junk in baby's food. All of you should be just as outraged as I am about this. Poisoning of our people? Ladies and gentlemen, they're doing it from infancy now. And then you, you remember that whole scare about baby formula? Oh, we're running out. Oh, no, it's the end of the 
well. The reason why they did that is because they had to get more people to inject their children with lead and arsenic and other heavy metals. This guy does a video. Who is, who are you, sir? Uh, this is a uh, Kent. And this is Barry, Kent Barry, MD. He's a doctor, and he's talking to us about the baby food. And he says, which brands, y'all? Then go ahead and take a look at Kent, because Kent may be trying to help. I don't see any from three months ago, two months ago, one month ago. I see everything. The lowest one I saw, oh, this is four weeks ago. Warning, Walmart making six changes that affects everyone. That ain't what I'm looking for. That ain't what I'm looking for. Explains the 10 best foods, the 10 worst baby foods. That ain't what I'm looking for either. I'm looking for what's been done about this arsenic. Why are these companies still in business? Study shows most baby foods contains heavy metals, lead, arsenic, and caldium? Caldium? What the? Ladies and gentlemen, why, why, why has this not been corrected yet? Why has this not been corrected yet? It's been over five years. What the, are toxic metals in baby food? Thank you for saying the same thing that I've been saying all day. Ladies and gentlemen, and look at how many views. He only has 250 views. Now, why is that? This one only has 2.1 thousand views. Why is that? But no, the video about the children and, 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 and the little cats running around and, and they were doing the little dances and the hipping and the hopping and the, the ticket talking and they, they got billions of views. But nobody's talking about arsenic in baby's food, heavy metals in baby's food. Nobody's talking about lead in baby food. Nobody's talking about formaldehyde in baby's food. Don't believe me? Go ahead and do your research. <sighs> Let's let her talk, because I'm interested. Sorry, commercial yeah, time? I think that you really can't say anything except that FDA has declared a war on babies. You know, and I mean, it, we've seen that in a number of areas, whether it's the baby formula shortage or the you know, vaccine approvals that have for, for babies and, and young children after only testing mice and rats. Um, but this is just <laughs> Sorry, that is that is that is so hilarious. Oh, yeah, we approve it. Yeah, the mice, you know, the mice survive. So, yeah, go ahead and inject them. Oh, it doesn't matter the dosage. No, just give them, um, you know, 10 percent of what you give the adults. Oh, no, we ain't got to test that. Just go ahead and give it to them. It's the latest evidence that FDA is more interested in protecting corporate interests than in standing up for moms and dads and grandparents that are trying to protect their children from poisoning. It's really disgraceful. All right, so what should parents know tonight? I don't want to be an alarmist and have parents throwing out baby food on their shelf. You know, they uh, have to feed their children. But what do they what do they need to know specifically right now as we're speaking about baby food on the store shelves tonight? Right. So what they need to know is that probably. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say it because she ain't going to say it right because they're worried about backlash. They're worried about somebody coming at them. Sue me, mother. Just like I took that silverware and got rid of it immediately. That's what all of these parents should be doing with that junk baby food. They should be preparing, preparing their own baby food. They already have the vegetables and everything. They already have the so-called machines to do this and they can get the instructions for where they need to get the instructions to provide food for their own. Do you do it for yourself? You prepare food for yourself. Do not do the juicing. Do not do the juicings. Okay, juicings provide too much sugar because it's straight sugar. It doesn't allow the absorption of it because it's straight sugar. So when you do the juicing of fruits, you don't want to do that. That you'll make a baby diabetic. See, that's where you got to do some research. You can talk to your doctor and ask them, hey, what do I need to do to make my own baby food? Oh, well, you just sit up there and hold your baby and you just pull down your top and you just let them just, some, you know, yum, 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 and that's it. That's how you produce your. No, doctor. My baby's a year old. I want to be able to give him some real food. Come on now. Oh, oh, so you don't want that type of food, huh? Okay, let me see. Well, there's the first thing you. Well, let's listen to this woman. 
probably the most dangerous ingredient is rice. And that's, uh, you know, 80% of children are exposed to rice. They eat rice cereals as sort of that first step after um, after coming off breastfeeding or as in the transition from breastfeeding. And so, you know. She keeps mentioning the B word. She ain't supposed to say the B word. That B word is a bad word. You're a bad woman. We're really concerned about children continuing to eat those rice cereals. I would recommend that, you know, and, and they're, they're universally almost um, contaminated. They're, it's very, every time they're tested, they're, we find these findings about lead and cadmium and arsenic, um, especially arsenic. So the, the important thing for parents to do is don't panic, but I would prioritize, and I'm a grandmother too, and so this is what we're doing. I would prioritize um, using oat cereal instead or wheat cereal um, or staying on breast milk for as long as you can. You know, that's, that's probably safer if you're using... Oh, little Bobby is nine years old. Yes, he's still being uh, bee fed and, and, and enjoying it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, in public too. No, we don't mind it because it's a natural thing. So he gonna be he gonna be fed in public, and then and, and no, don't care what nobody say. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, as long as you can. Sorry, I've known individuals who've allowed their child to continue doing that past the age of five what the i apologize my bad uh <clears throat> i don't understand it but whoever that seven-year-old eight-year-old child was apparently they understood it because mama kept allowing it uh, there there are some weird people out here people but this is just me letting you know this is what's going on. If you didn't know, now you know. Tell mama, tell papa, tell daddy, tell uncle, tell nieces, tell nephews, tell everybody about what these people are doing because they've been talking about this for greater than five years. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They ain't doing nothing about it. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, they're not doing nothing about it. Because prior to that, the FDA did not regulate baby's food. Well, who did? The FDA didn't. That means nobody did. And now that I, she just mentioned about this stuff being in our rice products. Now, I love rice. You love rice? Yeah, all the starch and everything. Man, I need as much starch as I can. I'm kidding. Um, brown rice, especially. But however, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. However, ladies and gentlemen, rice cereals? How many of you buy rice cereal for your children? So go and check the studies. Ask yourself if, uh, hold on, what's that, uh, what's that stupid rice cereal that has the characters on it? Dang it. And they even make the treats out of them. Rice Krispies. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't say commercial. Stupid mother. Uh, a. Let's do also and L E A D. Not baby's food. We're talking about regular food. Forget that. Forget baby's food. Arsenic levels in rice. Interesting, ain't it? How much arsenic is in rice? Interesting, ain't it? What rice has no arsenic? I'm interested. Aren't y'all interested? Because I didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we should be highly perturbed. Perturbed? Perturbed. Lord have mercy. Sorry, I learned that from my brother when I was growing up. Never heard the word perturbed before until he Lindor. started saying it. Made to melt Sorry, you this Valentine's Day.
I can't stand these commercials and I'm going to put, I don't, you know, it is on here. I'm going to have to get another one. Hold on. Mess. Keep going. Uh, I'm going to have to get another one. It'll be on here by tomorrow. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Take our lead. Our is your satisfaction. Let us show you Why the way. is it my satisfaction? Which rice has the least arsenic? Bismati rice from California, India, or Pakistan is the best choice, according to Consumer Reports data. These types of Bismarty. rice have about one-third of the inorganic arsenic compared to brown rice from other regions. Ladies and gentlemen, that just means you have to spend more. Sorry. But your health is worth it. Sorry. I hate it. I hate saying that, but your health is more worth it, and so you're going to have to spend more. Again, sorry. Sorry that in our lives we have to go through this stupidity that these people, these corporations are doing this to us. But the reason why they continue to do it is because we continue to buy their product. I have to go buy more rice, literally. But I will not be buying any more white rice. Uh, but I don't know. She mentioned this rice right here. It's a California rice. And it looks like I might be able to Biz Marty. I don't know who Biz Marty is. I know who Biz Marquee is. Rest in peace, Biz. Uh, nobody beats the Biz. You know that, right? Okay, anyway. Baz Marty. B-A-S-M-A-R-T-I. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I, I put an R, so it is Basmati. Basmati, not Basmart. Basmart! Let's do this. I need to see what it looks like, what the brand looks like. You know, that's not the brand. That's not what I want to see. Come on, Basmarty. Oh, I keep saying Marty. Basmati. Basmati. Mamati. Mamati. Brown rice. And white rice. Doctors clear up the confusion. Doc, you got four minutes, okay? Don't don't waste Doctor, my time. Which is better? Basmati rice or brown rice? Let me show you something. This is brown rice, this is red rice, and this is white rice. And they are all basmati rice. Confused? Hi, I'm Dr. Chan. I made this short video to help clear up this confusion that many people, including my patients, have about basmati rice and brown rice. If you're I'm so confused. Look, a lot of people are getting this uh, rice, this brown rice, basmati Trusted. rice. Watch on. And... <sighs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Dr. Chan. I'm a medical doctor from Singapore. Many of my patients, especially those with diabetes, would often ask me questions such as, Doctor, some of my friends say brown rice is good for diabetes, whilst others say basmati rice is low GI and is even better than brown rice for people with diabetes. Which should I choose? It seems to me that many people are confused. So let's clear this up in this episode of Clearing Up the Confusion. Let's start. Three things to note. Number one, variety. The name basmati rice refers to a special variety of rice traditionally grown in India, Nepal, Pakistan, and other parts of Asia. Let's use the common jasmine rice as an example to illustrate this. Therefore, basmati rice simply refers to a specific variety of rice, just like jasmine rice is a specific variety of rice. So just by saying that a rice is basmati rice, it does not tell us what color it is or whether it is whole grain or not. So let's go to number two, color. Basmati rice, just like jasmine rice, which can come in different colors such as brown or red, basmati rice can also come in different colors. So we have brown basmati rice and red basmati rice. And because the color of the more intense colored rice, such as brown rice or red rice, comes from the brand, the outermost layer of a rice grain, which is only present in whole grains. Therefore, the more intense colored rice, even without having to specify that it is whole grain, they are almost always whole grain rice. So brown basmati rice 
red basmati rice, just like brown or red jasmine rice. They are all... Okay, that's it. Not going to take you guys through the whole video, but I do understand what he's saying now. He's saying that when they enrich it, they take out all the minerals, nutrients, and so forth. When they don't enrich it, it's healthier for you. Isn't that what you're saying, Doc? Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of that having to have white rice every once in a while and go back to my brown rice because I'm prejudiced, okay? That's right. I'm saying no to the white meat, all right? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, just wanted to spread my frustration to see if we can get a whole train going because I was frustrated and so should you be. Everybody should be frustrated. And ladies and gentlemen, only because he decided to talk about the difference in the two different rices did I click on him. I could have clicked on each one of these, but they would not have given me what he said. Okay. Oh, look at that. He, how to, Gordon Ramsay, how to cook the, the best rice. Why would I want to cook that white rice that you know, oh, but, you know, perfect, perfect, they say, perfect rice, okay? Every single time. She's going to tell you how to make the perfect rice every single time. How to cook the perfect basmati rice every time. Everybody's telling you how to do it, ladies and gentlemen, everybody. So why don't y'all take a look at these people? Perhaps you might learn something. But with the fact of us having to learn something, I have to learn it. I have to go to sleep. So y'all take care and stop feeding these babies this arsenic and this lead. I don't know what y'all doing. Y y your parents are doing this. It ain't the manufacturers doing it. Your parents, because you keep buying that. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Got to go.